you take that statement mm -hmm. and you apply it to a clerk, an administrative clerk, or even an, an accountant, mm -hmm. what should he do or she do? Well, let's say let's accountant is a good example. An accountant who is merely doing routine work, mm -hmm. who's basically adding up the numbers, um, following a set of rules, that kind of accountant is not going to last very long because software, for instance, can do it cheaper. So what, an, so what accountants, for instance, have to do is become more uh, in the realm of financial advisors, be able to interview clients, find out what their financial needs are, be able to understand the totality of a client's perspective, be able to demonstrate empathy and understand what's not being said, what's a person not telling, you know, those kinds of things, which are not routine abilities, they're not rule-based abilities. The pure kind of calculation side of it isn't valuable anymore. What's valuable is the stuff that you can't reduce to a set of rules, which ends up being the more, what you might call not high tech, but high concept and high touch. High concept meaning there are probably accounting services out there that we haven't dreamed of yet that would satisfy some unmet needs. So it's iterating those new kinds of services. Mm -hmm. And then also high touch, which is basically doing, giving the kind of advice, getting the kind of understanding from a, a fellow human being that a computer simply can't do or that someone who's basically following a, a script and a call center can't do.